We're going to do a brief video on S&P 500 technical analysis. And we've got an S&P 500 chart here, a daily chart with a 200-day moving average on here and a 20-day moving average in red, a blue uh, 200 and a green five-day moving average. Let's take a look and uh, see real quick what this S&P 500 is up to. You'll notice we made a new bottom today for this particular swing. This rally that we had here starting from, from uh, October 13th is breaking down just like we kind of discussed in the past. It had to break down. If it doesn't break down, it's going to be overbought. And it was, I wouldn't say it was overbought yet, but it was getting there. And so we're getting a nice little decline, which is good. I don't see a problem with this breakdown as long as it doesn't get below the 6441 level. Today we were, we were at uh, 3704. If as long as it can hold right about where it is, I wouldn't want to see it go much lower. You'll you'll notice it did close below the 20-day. That's not a good sign. You'll notice the five-day is rolling over. Not a great sign, but not disastrous. Um, but in order to get this price up here and get the S&P 500 back in the bull market, we've got to get above this 200-day moving average, which right now is around 4,097 for today, roughly. So. If we're going to do that, we can't be going the other direction. It's important to sell off and stay balanced and not get oversold or overbought. But this right now is starting to get oversold. And if it doesn't pull up and if it violates this, this uh, 3641, now we're starting to talk about a breakdown and move back at a, at a best case into a trading range as opposed to a correction for a rally. I would say we're right there and we need to hold this bottom tomorrow of 3704 and move up from here, move over a couple days gently and then begin to put in a top here towards the beginning of next week and head towards this 4000 level. Any further breakdown here, I think it's going to be oversold and I think that uh, that's not a good sign for the SP500. So we'll see what happens. Let's take a look and see what RBM's algorithmically generated prices are for tomorrow, the 4th of November. And we've got for trend following, this is 30-day hold trend following, uh, got to buy at 37.82, which is interesting. 37.82 uh, is above the market, so we'll see what happens. But um, it does indicate buy on a 30-day hold, which basically means get in tomorrow. If your own judgment says it's a good idea, get out at the end of 30 days at a loss or take your profits as soon as you get them. So this is predicting we'll get some, some rallies here, and that's all it is, is a predict prediction for entertainment purposes only. Let's go down here and take a look at the non-trend following entry price for SP500 for tomorrow, the 4th of November, 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20-day holds. It's got buys also, but much lower, 3705 for the one day, 3715. 37.35 for the five day and back down to 37.15 for the 10 and the 20. So interestingly, the, the algos tend to do it more like a trading range. And of course, the trend following is a totally different system. All of these are, of course, for entertainment purposes only. Can't use them for anything other than entertainment, including my commentary and the enterprises. You should always do your own analysis and you definitely trade at your own risk. You can get access to all of these the night before, after 6 p.m., but definitely before 7 a.m. the morning of, to 190 stocks, the major forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts. There's a link in the description below. Follow it over to rbmresearch.com. Get signed right up with your email. Free access, no credit card required, and immediate access once you put your email in there. Keep in mind that uh, if you leave a comment section with a, uh, a ticker symbol in there or, or, or a, a future symbol, whatever you want, if we can do it, we'll do a technical analysis video on there. We can't offer you personalized advice, but we can do another technical analysis video for most of these ticker symbols. Um, and if you put it in there, no guarantees, but we'll probably do it for you. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe, please do that as well. 